Hello everyone, this is Anne, the little Frenchie in Big Texas, and this video will be about long-term food storage and dehydrating fruits. So I've, I've had a new dehydrator for about three weeks and we did some trials with different kinds of fruits. So here I want to give you some feedback, how it went, what would, fruits were good, others were a bit more complicated, what I would do again or not. So first of all, the dehydrator. So we got, um, I wouldn't say low range, mid range dehydrator, uh, the Nesco Garden Master. So it ranges, I think, depending on the size, between 100 and $150, depending on where you buy it. It's available at Walmart, Home Depot, and so on. Uh, it's a plastic dehydrator, uh, pretty simple, an on off switch uh, with, the, um, with the temperature. It works great. It's got eight trays. Um, you have to have at least five in so that the air can rotate, uh, but it dehydrates the fruits really good and you don't get any, um, any taste from one layer to another. It keeps uh, the layers well separated within the dehydrator, which is good. So this is uh, one of the tray and as you can see, it comes uh, with different covers. So this is actually ideal for the fruits, what I use most of the time. And you also have this kind of cover here for liquid. So either you use this one for liquid, this one for a bit more sticky fruits, or directly on the tray, if you do, for instance, beef jerky. So great dehydrator, I recommend. And here are my final products and what we did. So if I go from the easier to the maybe not so easy and the one I like the most to finish. So very easy, I would say. We started on the first um, trial with some um, apples. So very classic. Uh, I kept the skin on and I didn't like it that much. I would say the apples were okay, but not a wow. Uh, next time I will take the, skins, the skin off and I will add some cinnamon as well on top just to enhance maybe the apple flavor. So that one is not a big win, but I will try again. Uh, and that was rather quick. It uh, lasted, uh, if I remember correctly, a bit more than 10 hours to dry, but it wasn't that bad. The quickest ones to dry were the kiwi. These ones were great, actually. I love the kiwis. I'm doing more as we speak. Kiwis were really good. I think six to eight hours dehydrated, done. It keeps that good, uh, uh, a bit acidic taste. Love it. Another one that went pretty fast and really tastes great, the bananas. So that one I would recommend, I would do again. It's a great snack, easy to do, six hours, seven, eight, depending, um, because all the time also depends on how thick your slices are uh, great. Um, I put, uh, I did quite a bit. I put in a jar to keep a bit longer, and I put a little uh, absorber here, desiccant, to make sure we keep the moisture out and it keeps longer. So, thumbs up for the bananas. We'll do again. Another one that was uh, okay. So it's kind of a mix here. I don't know. Um, I'm actually running out is the strawberries, but we, I do have quite a few at the bottom. I don't know if you see. Strawberries were easy to do, six hours. I mean, depending on how thin the slice is. But yeah, six hours, done, dry, um, pretty tasty. I enjoyed it. I would do again. Definitely, strawberry is a good, uh, was a good experience. Raspberries, um, it took a while. Let's put it this way. It took a while. It's, it tastes great. I love it. Uh, but as you can see, I chose some pretty uh, big, nice uh, raspberries. And I left them. I wanted to keep the shape as, as such. So I left them as is. And it took uh, hmm, over a day, between one and two days. So quite a while. If I had to do it again, I might break them uh, up maybe in half. To make it a bit faster i hope but otherwise it tastes good i will do it again but um with patience 
with patients. Um, the one that took most of my patients, which is why I'm doing that video a week after the actual dehydrations, are the blueberries. <laughs> As you can see, these are my blueberries. So that was two large pack of blueberries I had got from Costco and they were actually very large blueberries. Um, I put them as is uh, in, on the tray. I mean, after, of course, cleaning. And I will talk about cleaning later. But I put them as is and it took forever. Forever, they were too big. I should have probably broken them in half, poked them. Um, that was uh, over three days. Literally between three and four days to dry them up. They're great now, they taste good, they're great, but gosh, I don't have that patience, so. <laughs> I'm not sure I will do blueberry again, and if I do, I would choose small ones that I might even break in half, <laughs> just to make sure. But be ready even for the small ones, it's gonna take at least 24 hours to dehydrate. It takes a while. So before moving into my favorites, which are the citruses, uh, in terms of cleaning, what I did for the berries um, is, uh, keep them in the container and dip them in a bowl of water with uh, just a bit of uh, apple cider vinegar, less than a quarter of a cup. Dip them, let them there for maybe 10 minutes, take them out and then rinse them twice in clear water just to take that uh, cider out and make sure they're clean. And I did it leaving them in their uh, container, the plastic container they were, I bought them in just to contain and not have them floating everywhere. But so that worked well, perfect, clean fruit. Uh, you can do the same with the strawberries. I just rinse them with clear water one by one before cutting the strawberries. It was a bit easier, I would say. But so yes, overall, uh, thumbs up for, yes, the bananas for sure, strawberries, uh, kiwi, great, apples, I need to try again and improve and raspberry and blueberry, uh, a lot of patience and small ones and cut pretty much. And then we have the citruses. As you know, I have a lot of citruses, whether it's lemon, oranges and grapefruits in the yard. And it's the end of the season, so quite a lot to eat. So what I did here is different kind of dehydration. The first one, pretty easy, the slices. Um, you can either keep the skin or remove the outside of the skin. Either way, I would recommend that you dip your slices in lemon water before putting in the dehydrator to, keep, uh, to, to prevent it from getting brown, pretty much, and keep it white, which is what I did here for most of them. So very nice. I, I would recommend it's rather fast, depending on how thick the slice is. It takes maybe uh, between six and uh, eight hours to dehydrate, great. I, yes, I have, uh, I have plenty, I did too many, <laughs> and I have more to come. Um, and what I really, really preferred are, is that, this one here, which are my little oranges, uh, peeling them off and taking the quarter, each little slice, cutting the slice in half and putting it as is on the dehydrator tray to dry. It takes a bit longer because it's, it's still very, very wet, but it is delicious, literally delicious. Um, that's uh, really something I enjoy. I'm gonna do more. I might do a full video just on citruses and show you also my little byproduct here, which is more of a candy thing. There's not much left. My husband loved it, uh, but I would definitely uh, encourage you here, uh, leave it overnight. Uh, you do it at the end of the day, afternoon, evening, leave it overnight and it should be uh, close to ready in the morning. You just check and see how it goes. Same for the grapefruits. I did less and it's a bit more messy just to cut the slice in half, but it's, uh, it is very tasty as well. Very tasty, a bit more acidic, like you would expect from a grapefruit. But definitely this one is uh, a wow. So more to come if you enjoy this. Keep an eye out, I will do a full one on dehydrating the citruses and doing the little uh, candies here. Might do with chocolate as well on that one just to get the girls to eat some. So overall, very good way to store um, the, some uh, fruits long-term. 
I would encourage you uh, to try. You lose some vitamins and you do lose the water, of course, which is part of the interest of eating uh, fruits, but you can rehydrate them and it makes it also for a health, health, very healthy snack, excellent he healthy, I'm gonna make it healthy snack. So definitely thumbs up. I really enjoy my new machine. The new, uh, the next exercise, after doing the citruses and I'm doing some more kiwis uh, here, I want to fill up a jar. I don't have enough for a jar. So I'm doing more kiwis and more strawberries. Uh, the next one will be a bit more apple to make sure I do it right and tasty. But I would experiment some vegetables. Next, I'm gonna move to the vegetable here with the spring, maybe starting a little garden and see what we can do with some tomatoes, carrots, green beans so i'm gonna try some more of this so if you enjoyed this movie please give me thumbs up subscribe to the channel and more to come on the topic and please comment what worked what didn't work for you please go ahead leave me a comment share your experience it can be of interest to everybody and that's how we learn from each other thank you for watching